turned out. Yeah, she turned. Hey. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Boomer with Bali Star. And today, we're getting into the TikToker who thinks she's black. You feel me? So, um, yeah, man. Let's get straight on into it, man. Make sure you leave a like, scroll the video, subscribe if you're new. Join up with the all-star gang up in this thing. Uh, let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. She was either the dumbest, most delusional bimbo to ever set foot on planet Earth, or the most bizarre TikTok troll of all time. Claiming to have a great, 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 great granddad who was black, as well as real DNA confirming that she was proudly and literally 0.9% Jamaican, Fanny Mae Lee, or the Carrie Bean Gell, as she called herself, seemed pretty convinced that she could pass as black. Oh, white boy, and you love you some black women. Please use this sound because sometimes we can't tell if y'all like black girls or not. However, when a couple of of individuals dug up some old videos displaying her naturally white skin color all hell broke loose. The audience would be split up into two different groups. Those who found the content offensive stating that she was blackfishing and those who saw it as nothing more than a girl creating a bit of comedy to mask what seemed to be a severe tanning bed addiction leading to one of the strangest most controversial TikTok accounts before she would eventually be banned. She was first discovered in February 2021 by a YouTuber and Twitch streamer called The Asher Show in a video titled Meet the TikToker Who Thinks She's Black. She's African and spicy white. Tan lives matter. In this video, Asher talked briefly about the concept of blackfishing, a situation in which a person with light skin will attempt to appear as a black or racially ambiguous individual for their own personal gain. Classic examples include YouTubers like Wall Vicky, a white girl whose popularity exploded back in 2017 after claiming that she was black. I'm sick and tired telling y'all what freaking race I am. I'm black. B-L-A-C-K. End story. Black. Y'all never heard of light skin? When Fanny Mae Lee first became popular on TikTok, this is what she was being accused of in comments such as, colored girls are beautiful, yes, but you're not colored, baby girl. You're still beautiful, though. I know you don't mean to, but you're blackfishing. You are not black. 0.9% Jamaican does not make Yeah, you I'm black. like, bro, there are, like, Chinese Jamaicans. There are white Jamaicans. There are, there are like, so even Latino can make it. I don't know. But, you know what I'm saying? Being Jamaican doesn't mean you're black. <laughs> Jamaican's a nationality, not a race. You feel me? Or, I think I got that part right. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. There are different races in Jamaica too. Oh, yeah. Indian Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there are different races. In, and, and, and they're still Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? Stop blackfishing, you will never amount to the black beauty of the black community. As well as take this down. You can be white and be Jamaican. <laughs> Fanny Mae Lee didn't seem. They're like Russian Jamaicans. Like, Russian. I just found this out, like, a couple days ago, man. They're Russian Jamaican. Like, what are they? Freaking, uh, parents from Russia. Well, I was born in Jamaica. Like, you know, the st stuff like that happens. People sometimes stay in Jamaica, bro. Uh accusations of blackfishing in a highly intelligent response reading where do you see a fish i'm literally a human being now while some comments speculated as to whether or not bean could have possibly referred to her skin color bean your skin color is the color of a baked bean it was pretty obvious that this caribbean girl had deliberately misspelled human being and suddenly people realized that this whole thing might have potentially been a joke i can't breathe this account has to be some kind of social experiment because ain't no way this girl is for real hold up wait a minute something ain't right the potential joke of the whole thing will be highlighted even further when Fannie Mae Lee responded to certain comments such as Are you a cancer by any chance? If not, I guess you'll be one soon, XXXX. No, I'm a Sagittarius. You can't change star signs because it's when you were born. Do you by any chance have dyslexia? Who's dyslexia? Others who seemingly misunderstood She's the entire thing was a meme straight up defended Fannie oh. Mae Lee by stating <sighs> that there was nothing wrong with getting a dark tan and posting it to TikTok. Everyone's onto her for being black or blackfishing, yet loads of girls, black or white, all want to tan and go on Sunday. Beds. Fanny Mae Lee also built up a massive army of supporters consisting of people who genuinely disrespected her and thought she looked quite good in the TikToks that she posted. Am I the only one who thinks she's actually pretty? However, it was questionable as to how long this respect would last for after her different people have different fetishes. Evidence proving that she wasn't really black. 
In one specific TikTok, Fannie Mae Lee had posted a mirror selfie next to a tanning bed at a business by the name of The Only Tan is Essex. And after looking up the location of the business, people discovered that it was located in the United Kingdom, specifically in an East London suburb by the name of Hornchurch. It was then also speculated that perhaps Fannie Mae Lee was Irish, as she had tagged hashtag Irish in many of her videos. However, this may have just been a troll or joke, considering Irish people carry the stereotype of being the true location at which Fannie Mae Lee lived would be revealed shortly thereafter, when she'd accidentally leak it in the next stupid public stunt posted to her TikTok description, a GoFundMe fundraiser. The fundraiser, titled Help Rebuild Fannie's House, had an £850 goal, a currency only used in England, Scotland, Wales and the islands that surround the United Kingdom, not including Ireland, which uses the Euro. The money was being raised with the goal of apparently rebuilding her house after it was burned down. Hi there, my name is Fanny. Three weeks ago, my mobile home was burned whilst me and my family were away for a wedding. The perpetrator was my ex-boyfriend. I would like to raise money for repairs on my house as I have no idea where to go and I'm staying with many friends. I would also like to raise awareness for abuse victims, especially those affected by narcissists. Any amount sent will help. If you aren't willing to donate to me, please donate to one of the many domestic abuse charities. The GoFundMe further cemented the suspicion that the whole thing was so just an unlucky troll and that Fannie Mae well, Lee was a self-aware provocateur making definitely. fun out of her own situation, especially after stating that she wanted to raise awareness for those affected by narcissists while running a pretty narcissistic TikTok account. However, the most interesting and notable part of the fundraiser was that the organiser, Fannie Lee, claimed to have been located in London kingdom. Depending on how you viewed the whole situation, the strangest, funniest, or most offensive part about the discovery that she was British was that in so many of her TikToks such as this one reading, you can't just tan every day then say you're black, she'd often display the South African flag despite living in the UK and apparently being a mix of Caribbean and Jamaican. It would once again cause backlash from the audience. She was a girl living in Britain, tagging Ireland, claiming to be Jamaican and Caribbean whilst using the South African flag in her videos, which was certainly lacking in continuity and confusing to say the least. Yet, Fannie Mae Lee still didn't understand why she was receiving so much hate. She'd post a video with a caption reading, To be honest, I don't see what the issue is with embracing natural melanin, what comes out when I get sunbed, hashtag viral, hashtag black Barbie, which, of course, many would respond negatively to. Oh my gosh, disappear from my For You page, it's not the same. Black people went through the worst as slaves, now just getting shot at for no reason. No, you pay to get my skin tone. This is disgusting, my race is not a trend for you to play dress up. This is incredibly hurtful and racist to my community. You aren't black, you're white, and black fishing just stop. You will never know their pain and understand their history. The hate towards Fannie Mae Lee would escalate even further after sharing a video of her pale younger self before she turned into the self-proclaimed black Barbie. This is what she looked like before, and then it looks like she fell asleep in a tanning bed for 10 days. Another theory was that this whole thing wasn't even her idea and had been influenced by her friends, as she would upload a TikTok comparing her friendship group at the age of 13 to now, whatever age that happened to be, revealing that all her friends seemed to have this matching incredibly dark tan, with a top comment describing exactly what everyone was already thinking, there are more of them. However, it wasn't only Fannie Mae Lee and her friends that were parading around with these excessively dark tans on TikTok. She'd often get comments from others replicating her style, such as this 16,000 follower account called Soggy Nicks Official, whose description read, Don't hate me cause you ain't me. I am not British. Stop stereotyping me. Thanks. She'd post videos such as this one captioned, If some of me followers sent me a quid, I'd be able to afford me filler dissolve so I can be natural, alongside a clearly ridiculous face filter, showing that this was once again a joke. The interesting part about Soggy Nick's official was the mention of quid, a slang word used for the British currency pounds, showing that this girl also reigned from the same country as Fannie Mae Lee. Perhaps these completely overdone tans and excessively fake appearances are popular in certain parts of Britain, and those who are self-aware enough to realise that they look ridiculous create TikTok accounts to capitalise on the stupidity. This was a theory held by one Reddit post of Fannie Mae Lee in the Blackfish subreddit, reading, This girl is white Irish, seen next to her white father and heavily fake tan mother, which received a comment stating, These people are Irish travelers and fake tanning and extreme fashion is a thing in their community. They're an insular community and nobody calls them out on anything, so nobody in their life is going to say anything about blackfishing. A traveller I knew explained the fashion to me. Female travellers have very little freedom or life outside their family. They generally don't work, go to college, and the treatment of women is like the 50s on steroids. Fashion is their hobby, a social outlet, their only creative freedom. However, the main problem that Fannie Mae Lee, as well as these other accounts had, was that they still tiptoed on the TikTok terms of service. They were susceptible to being banned. TikTok's community guidelines state that it's against their rules to dehumanize an individual or a group on the basis of the following protected attributes, race, ethnicity, and national origin. While the definition is incredibly vague and arbitrary, TikTok probably keep it that way so they can get rid of people that they don't like without receiving any 
backlash. TikTok certainly has a reputation of banning people left, right, and center, often for incredibly petty reasons. So I'm sure they'd have no problem coming after some of these ultra tanned British white girls. It's what happened to one account by the name of Ebony Chelsea, whose description reads banned at 11k, which was probably an understandable ban when some of her videos state, me when a gorilla emoji tries to tell me I'm blackfish, but she looks worse or darker than me. I'm a better black Barbie than you. Africans. Now, while you could probably argue that Fannie Mae Lee was less racist and seemed more concerned about having a laugh at the colour of her tan, others still demanded the same fate for her account with comments such as, how are you still not banned? Well, she eventually would be, but not before she'd do another GoFundMe campaign, this time claiming that she needed £920 to help Fanny receive her skin change surgery. This time the description stated, From a very young age I have been ridiculed for wearing tan, going to the salon on a weekly basis, wearing African clothes and playing with black Barbies. My mother put me up for adoption at the age of eight and I was adopted by a London family. I have lived here for nine years and I've never faced judgement here. I want to receive melanin treatment because it would save me money and end my body dysphoria. Well, this GoFundMe campaign seemed to be the last straw and she was banned shortly thereafter. However, this wouldn't be the end of Fanny Mae Lee. In December 2021, she would remake the account, titling her first video, <laughs> Fanny Mae Lee is back and blacker than ever, confirming the return of the Caribbean girl. In her description, she's opted to support Black Lives Matter instead of Tan Lives Matter and has so far racked up 13,000 followers, just a few thousand less than the peak of her previous account. Bruh, it's still up right now? That is crazy. Alright, you guys, so that was the TikToker who thinks she's black, man. Uh, Y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below, man. Y'all know it's Boomer with Bali Star, man. Make sure to leave a like, support the video, subscribe if you're new, join up with the All Star gang up in this thing. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Wow, honey. Ooh! Know that the revolution shall be televised. Shall be televised, the revolution shall be televised. Shall be televised, the revolution shall be televised. Shall be televised, the revolution shall be televised. If you know too much, get wiped out, wiped out. If you miss your shot, then read.